I believe that dogs, when they sleep, dream, you know, and we all dream. And if you woke up in a place like that, you'd be living a nightmare. More than 60% of households own a pet. Do you know where yours came from? Tonight in part two of our puppy farm investigation, frustrated animal lovers tell us why Hawaii's laws need to change. Good evening, I'm Tanya Joaquin. And I'm Kiahi Tucker. You're about to see a heated exchange at the heart of the controversial dog breeding industry. Despite our undercover video at a Waimanalo puppy farm, Hawaii's laws prevented the Humane Society from issuing a single citation. Tim Sakahara joins us with part two of a story you'll see only on Hawaii News Now, Tim. Kiahi, the Hawaiian Humane Society says it's concerned about puppy farms where profit is more important than animal welfare and many of the pet stores in Hawaii are feeding the problem. And this poor mother, there's nowhere for her to go. This is the undercover video taken by an animal rights group called Last Chance for Animals. It shows sick, injured, and in some cases dead puppies at a farm in Waimanalo. The organization showed the video to the Hawaiian Humane Society, which had already issued more than 20 warnings to the farm over the past two years. Now, with the evidence in the video, they inspect it again. But when they went in, there wasn't enough for a single violation, and they weren't able to issue any citations. I'm, st I'm really frustrated with, with the current law, and I have been for a couple years now. That's Hawaiian Humane Society Chief fault? Inspector Keone Vaughn talking to Dave Becker, the puppy farm's manager. If you were in the business because of your love for animals, it's a whole different ball game. I mean, you're here for, for profit only. Okay, you, you can't say that. What yes, about, I can. When what we were in there today, okay. when we were in there today, did you not tell me this, this dog is worthless, it's been spayed. And I have no purpose for this dog. Did you not say that? Okay, I said I was selling it. They're talking about this dog that can't reproduce, but was still kept on the farm. But didn't you not say she had no purpose? No purpose for us here to keep there. Why not? Because because you don't care we're going to sell it to you don't a, love the animal, or is it because it can't breed and you can't earn money off of it? It's because I mean, it just doesn't need to be here. It needs to be in a home. A why home. why can it be here? Why can't you give it the same love and affection? But this dog here is for a, a, a home that wants a a pet. That's what I said. I just didn't make it sound like, oh, it's cool. We're going to, uh, don't put words in my mouth. Okay. They're barking at each other in large part because of Hawaii's lack of animal breeding laws. Vaughn says the cute little puppies found in pet stores often come from dirty places. So we can have stronger laws and, and, and uh, stricter enforcement, but the bottom line is as long as there's pet, stop, uh, pet shops and pup, puppy swap meets um, and there's a demand, you know, there always will be puppy mills. A breeder normally needs a federal permit to sell dogs to a pet store. But because the property owner in Waimanalo and the pet spot in Pearl City have the same owner, no permit is necessary, which the Hawaiian Humane Society says can make the breeder tougher to regulate. And that's the loophole. Oh, I don't know what, 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 what she said. It's a loophole. I mean, that, that's what... Uh, uh, they have done, I mean, you know, the relationship. I would think if it is a big problem, even the Humane Society would come in and close them down. Because the Humane Society has told me that. If you didn't do the, the job right, they would, they would close us down. Well, dogs that are confined in a puppy breeding, in a dog breeding puppy mill situation, get injured because they're confined in these spaces. They get illnesses because you're dealing with multiple animals in an enclosed area. By law, a household can have up to 10 dogs, but a farm can essentially have an unlimited amount of dogs. And right now, there are no state laws that specifically regulate large-scale breeders. Hawaii definitely needs stricter laws. I am surprised at, uh, at, at, at a state with people that are so compassionate and so much about aloha that um, they're allowing um, situations like this just because I don't think they're knowledgeable about it. I don't think it's been exposed that this is a serious problem. We exposed State Senator Clayton He to the video. He has successfully championed animal rights in the past. After seeing this, um, uh, it's clear that I'll introduce a bill uh, requiring uh, puppy mills to be uh, regulated. It's unfortunate that uh, the profit motives of people are such that uh, animals and pets in particular should suffer. 
And Senator He is already working on that bill. And the Hawaiian Humane Society said it would also like to make pets disclose where their puppies came from. Also, the farm did voluntarily surrender two dogs you saw in the story. One is the dog with the mange, and the Hawaiian Humane Society will nurse it back to health and adopt it out when it's fully recovered. The other dog is the spade dog that sparked that argument between the breeder and investigators. He was cleaned up and already adopted out. Tim Sakahara, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Tim, for bringing us this two-part report.